Hey everybody, welcome. I am Crystal Ann Compton and I am excited to be here. I hope you are having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today. In this video, I'm going to be doing a three card oracle card reading specific to relationships. That's right. We're going to be looking into our relationships. Now, normally when I do oracle card readings, I usually give general information. The messages uh, kind of just are offered and you find out for yourself where those messages apply. But today we're going to be a little bit more in tune, a little bit more specific. We're looking at those relationships in our lives. And of course, relationships can be all kinds of different things. We can have relationships with our students, with our teachers, with our coworkers, with our neighbors, with our mentors, with our parents or our children or our lovers or our friends. What I want you to do before we actually get into the cards is pick a relationship around which you might have a question or a query or maybe a relationship that you might be curious about or that you'd love to receive a little bit of illumination around, a message from spirit. Now, once you have that relationship in your heart and in your mind, go ahead and proceed to the next step where I'm going to be showing you the three different cards. But if you need to take a little time to come up with the relationship that you want information around, go ahead and pause this video and come back when you're ready. Now, for everyone else, if you have that relationship in your heart, in your mind, what we want to do is now connect with the cards. I'm going to be, I'm going to be showing you three different cards and it's going to be your job to intuitively connect with each of these cards to determine which card contains your message. When I say intuitively, I mean with your senses, connect with these cards. You will receive some sort of a validating or witnessing response in your senses that tells you which card to select. And this can be something like a magnetic pull, something like a physical sensation that you feel when you see a certain card. You might hear a word with your inner voice or even a tone or a frequency. You might just know which card belongs to you, or you might actually see something with your open eyes or your inner eyes, like a number one, two, or three, which gives you the information you need to select the card that's for you. All of these are intuitive faculties. So pay attention to what's happening in these senses as I'm holding up each card. And when you receive that witnessing response, that validation, be confident in that. Select that card and don't change your mind. Are you ready? Again, relationships. With the energy of the relationship in your heart and in your mind, connect with these cards intuitively, starting with card number one. Card number one. Is this your card? Card number one. Next, card number two. Card number two. Is this your card? Last but not least, card number three. Card number three. Is this your card? Card number three. All right, very quickly again. Card number one. Card number two, card number three. All right, by now you should know which card contains your message. You received some kind of a validating or a witnessing response, and we're going to trust that. And to show that we can trust that, we're going to drop down into the comments and we're going to indicate which card number we selected, which card number is for us. So that's one, two, or three, drop down in the comments and just document what you felt. And I like doing this before the reveal because it's a, it's a step out in faith. 
where you're claiming the message that spirit is giving to you and you're not going to change your mind about it. You're not going to see the answer in card number three after you selected card number one and change your answer. No, you're committing to it. And so you're commenting with that card number. And once you're done with that, we're moving right into the reveal. For those of you who selected card number one, you selected speak your truth, Archangel Gabriel. Speak your truth. And the prayer that is associated with this card is thank you, Gabriel, for helping me to speak with integrity. The general meaning of this card is the angels around you at this time are encouraging you to speak your truth. It has reached a point in your life where you must be honest with yourself and all those around you. If you're holding anything in, or feel you need to share something with those who matter most to you, then now is the time to do so. As you share your truth, you will create an openness in your heart that will enable you to receive extra support and guidance from the angels in heaven. The expanded interpretation of this card is, if you're constantly saying yes, when you really want to say no, or someone around you is making you feel that you're losing all sense of yourself, now is the time to speak up. The angels are encouraging you to be honest about what you want. You may be telling yourself you don't want a specific situation in your life, but it's time to get real. What do you want? Whatever your truth, Archangel Gabriel is encouraging you to speak up now. Can I get it? Amen. Speak up now. Step into your power. Claim the life that you want for yourself. Don't hide that light under a bushel. That's not why you came here into this life. Speak up and speak your truth. That's card number one. Moving on to card number two. For those of you who selected card number two, you selected trustworthy friends trustworthy friends. And the prayer that is associated with this card is, thank you angels for surrounding me with people I can trust and love. The general meaning of this card is, the friends you spend time with or are considering spending time with are without a doubt trustworthy when you pick this card. You are surrounded by many earth angels and souls who have your best interest at heart. The people who make you smile, laugh, and cry are the souls who will be with you throughout your journey, and you're being encouraged to enjoy spending time with the friends you have in this lifetime because you have so much in common. And as you have fun with your friends, the angels will join in and enjoy themselves too. The expanded meaning of this card is, you may have felt a little left out recently and unsure who is being real in your life. Don't concern yourself about that. The angels are here to help you. By surrendering any friendship issues or worries you have to them, you will allow a source of love to guide you to the peace that you deserve. The angels will help you see, realize, and know who really is on the same vibration as you so that you can truly enjoy your social time. If you feel that you don't know who your friends are, follow the prayer on this card and the angels will direct you to those who will support you and allow you to support them. Friendship means balance, and it is as blessed to support as it is to be supported. And the prayer is, thank you, angels, for surrounding me with people I can trust and love. Awesome card. That was card number two. And finally, for those of you who selected card number three, are you ready? Card number three is, take a step back, y'all. You might need to take a step back. The prayer associated with this card is, thank you angels for helping me to step back from what's not serving me. Yes. General meaning. The angels are guiding you to take a step back from any harsh energies or situations in your life at this time. You are being encouraged to remember that you're a sensitive being. And if you're around harsh energy, you will pick it up. If you feel that there are certain people places, or situations in your world that don't resonate with where you are right now, take a step back from them. It's all right. 
expanded interpretation. If you're jumping into a new project at this time, you're being encouraged to step back and think about the effects it will have on your life. The angels are encouraging you to slow down and to reassess the situation in your heart and mind before proceeding any further. Step back and allow things to develop naturally and without force. Everything happens at the right time. Card number three, take a step back. We don't ever want to force the field. When we force the field, we get ourselves into trouble. Instead, it's okay to just take a beat, give it some breath, give it some space, and let things happen in divine order because when they happen in divine order, it's the perfect order. And so maybe in the relationship that you have a question around, you might just need to take a step back. To quickly recap, card number one, speak your truth with integrity. Card number two, you've got trustworthy friends. Card number three, take a step back, take a moment. And there you have it. Three oracle cards from the deck, Angel Prayers by Kyle Gray. I don't know if you know who Kyle Gray is or if you have any of the Kyle Gray decks, but they are fantastic. I have, I think, three or four of them and I love them. The artwork's great, the messages are on point, and the deck itself is quite accurate. So this is the Angel Prayer, the Angel Prayers deck by Kyle Gray once again. And thank you for joining me today for this reading. I hope it's been helpful for you. I just want you to know before I come on to do these readings, I select these cards with the partnership of spirit. And we select three cards that are the most meaningful for the spiritual community. And on that note, until next time, and I suppose next Wednesday when I do another Oracle card reading, maybe around money, maybe around money and finances and prosperity. That sounds, that sounds good. But until then, or until tomorrow, because I have another video, or Tuesday when I have another video, I'm trying to put up three videos a week, okay? Mommy's trying. <laughs> but until then, I hope you know, Lord, I hope these people know that I have nothing but love for you.